Hey guys, so today we are going to learn how to block exe file in the 48 firewall. So these are the executable files and most of organizations block them. So in fact, in today's session, not only to block exe file, we will learn how to block different type of file types in 48 firewall. Okay, so I will go to here, basically security profiles and there is an option of the file filter. So I will create a file filter security profile in that I will choose different file types and I will block them in this 48 firewall. Okay. So let's try to understand the network topology that uh, what I'm going to use so that you understand that uh, what I'm doing here. Right. So I will be trying to access everything on this machine. Okay. Basically for the testing point of view, and this machine is connected via switch here means my traffic will be traveling through this and later on it will be going to this switch and from here it will be going to fortinet and this is basically our internet and uh, we will try to set up a firewall policy in this 48 firewall so that whatever if you try to download any of the executable file or exe file through the 48 firewall it will be dropped here and you will not be able to download it so let's understand and do that how it is meanwhile i'm just starting this server because this helps me to access the internet and uh, i go to this 48 firewall of the gui so currently we have this firewall policy to allow access to all the users who are behind this firewall okay so if you focus on the security policy let me just edit it so it says that uh, incoming traffic from port 3 outgoing to port 4 and from all sources to all destination all the services are allowed especially we can say that nothing is blocked as of now so if you see any of the production environment you may see that uh, we have uh, like a specific sources to allow whenever we are going to the internet obviously in the destination there is uh, no restrictions and we prefer to uh, allow all all right and services we usually prefer http like 80 and 443 but just here i am have allowed uh, all to sake of convenience nat is using my use outgoing interface address and then it is going to internet the most important part what i was focusing that was security profile so in the security profiles we have these many of the options right so today's focus will be this file filter currently it is all the security profiles are disabled we are not any of we are not using any of the security profile in the current policy so just uh, make in uh, mind there's two things one is this firewall policy another is security profiles so this is a firewall policy which is uh, allowing the communication and uh, security profiles give additional security to those profiles so if i enable this gives me an option in the drop down that attach a profile okay so first we have to create a profile that what you want to allow or block it different based on the different file types and that profile we will attach it here in this firewall policy so rather than going here what i will do i will just jump to security profiles and create one of the security profile so in the security profile there is an option of the file filter i go there and create new so name i'm creating like my file filter okay you can give any of the name if you have some standard in your organization and after that one we will create a rule there so i will just create a new rule and name i am giving as a block exe you can give any name uh, based on the convention so that you can just like identify that what are we trying to allow or block so if you just carefully uh, look onto these this filter file filter will monitor all the traf uh, type of traffic which is traveling through these protocols like cifs ftp http IMAP of 3 or SMTP. So any exe file or in fact any file type which is going through these type of protocols that will be scanned and we can take action whether we can want to block it or monitor. The most important part is here that is a file type. That which type file type 
you want to take action so if i go here you have different type of file types in you, uh, these things you can either you monitor them or block it right so for example first uh, that's like today's target i will select an exe file i will add it here most of the organization also like blocking the tar files right tar or torrent they do not allow because these are like very um uh, tar they do not but torrent they usually do so you can just block the torrent and one of the more dangerous file is like bin hex that's like hex code malicious user used to inject that one so these three file types i'm going to block it in this file filter rule so currently i'm just creating a file filter rule and to block these file types okay and here it is and uh, now if i click it will create a file filter profile with the name my file filter okay so these two things uh, one is the inside there is a rule that is a block exe that is basically inside the security profile my file filter so i click okay i have made this file uh, my file filter file filter profile but i have not attached in any of the security policy in fact the firewall policy so if i go in the policy and objects it is still without the security profile just one single one, simple one certificate inspection so let's see currently what is happening do i have an access to internet on this windows machine so if i click here i will open it and let's try to access the internet okay then try to download the exe file as well so if i go google it is opening right so it's just refreshed now if i try uh, download vlc okay that's basically like uh, exe file so you can try to download any of them that's not a problem but just uh, this is sample one i'm trying to download so if i go and download vlc player see that it is currently videoland.org and windows.html and this is an executable file and download vlc that is basically an exe file okay so I, if i click here it redirects me to another page dot exe and after some time it says that downloading this one and it will start downloading that okay so here we go it's like started downloading so based like like internet speed it will take some time i have like good speed <laughs> so it may be downloaded in 15 seconds so that's fine like it's downloading and i'm very fine that it will be successfully downloaded within 10 or 15 seconds all right so how to block this one like we have uh, made the file filter profile ready uh, in my FortiGet firewall and that's how like it is successfully done okay and if i go to want to block that uh, file exe i edit that policy and inside that file filter i attach that my file filter profile which has the rule that block exe file and just simply click ok all set now i will not be able to download exe I'm on the demo let's see that or let me try here as well in the same page it will not allow this time thank you for downloading it starts in few seconds if not click here so i'm just clicking here and okay it no this has given me another view it's not a problem i will start from scratch i go to google.com download vlc player I click this and this time I'm going to download my VLC. And now my page is not reachable. I will not be able to download that. That's how basically like uh, my firewall is blocking that one. If you want to check the logs on the firewall that how, what it is doing, you can go to log and report section there you have this option of the forward traffic right so that's how we check the logs in the 48 firewall 
and uh, if i close this you will see that actions that lot of traffic has been blocked to this get video land.org right that's what the url was this get dot get dot video dot the video land.org so it could have been tried multiple times so all these are blocked before that if you like try to access this google drop down or something in backend where it was not the dot exe file then it was open there's no block is on that one so you can check it here if you double click you can see all the information here that why it has been blocked so security action was blocked session closed right so i would just want to give you one more demo uh, that what happens that in between if you block that one right so if it is like uh, policy add objects and uh, in this profile i remove that file filter profile and now i try to download here we go that's fine i fight out to download this videos now it is downloading it's not, it will start downloading so this is the older one it will start a new download It takes time don't worry it should start so now it is started okay it's taking time meanwhile i observe that something is happening i go to profile i edit it i file filter attach to my profile and click ok while the download okay let's see what happens now two seconds left <laughs> it was about to complete but uh, i was fast enough and block in between you see that time it is reaching 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 and uh, at the end it will give me a network error in fact that 4 mb you will not be able to download how fast it is this utm based profile don't worry it will fail it so that's it uh, from on this uh, file filter and if you have any question in this or try to set up a lab and feel any difficulty in doing that or any issues in this doing this on your lab just feel free to write in the comment section i will be really happy to help you so just to tell you that uh, i have my website as well you can visit to this rest online and over there you can also learn different networking like ccna or on the 40 gate or checkpoint or palo alto firewalls so there's like different videos you can visit there okay and uh, i hope it would have been given the network error <laughs> it's still not don't worry <laughs> it will not allow to download and it will be fit it will be at the end it will give the network error all right guys see you soon in the next video will that bye bye